YouTube and fellow reefers, this is Dan from Electric Reef and today I finished up my plumbing for the overflow on my 65 gallon build. Uh, as you know from previous videos, I built the stand myself, fabricated it, drew it up on paper, welded it, and uh, turned out awesome. Really looking forward to it. It is made out of steel, but I put about 10 coats of clear coat on there. And when it comes to cleaning, when I was cleaning my Nano, I was pretty meticulous about keeping salt creep and all that stuff off of anything outside of the sump or tank. So, not really too worried about this thing rusting or anything like that. But we'll move on to the plumbing. So, I glued in my own overflow that I got from my local fish store. Uh, they had it on sale. I think I paid 15 bucks for it, which isn't bad. Uh, they made it there. They do a lot of acrylic work. So they custom made that and uh, that should provide plenty enough flow for what I'm working on. And I uh, drilled the holes in the back of my tank, put the overflow holes in there. I just got some PVC elbows in the inside, uh, one for the main overflow and then the other one which goes up a little bit higher for the emergency overflow. Now I said in the previous video that I had to cut a hole in the wall which I did, it was wife approved, six inches by 36 inches. It fits this inside the wall perfectly. And I'm still gonna have to build a cap for this or an insert to put in there. Um, really didn't want, not really having a problem. It's pretty cold outside right now. This is insulated in here, but just in case for future sake, once the uh, tank is full, I'm not gonna wanna have any cold drafts or anything creeping up out of that wall or anything. So just to make the wife happy, I'm building a steel cap that's gonna be clear coated to stick in there. So my piping comes down, runs to the back of the tank, and I put my ball valve in here. And I know they say to usually use a gate valve and everything, but I've seen numerous videos where they used a ball valve and they achieved full siphon just fine. Takes a little bit more fine tuning, but whatever, this is a hobby. This is fun stuff for me, so it works out perfect. Now the emergency overflow runs down over on the left side of the tank. Now this is a little bit different than you normally see people set up their tanks because their main overflow runs down to the left side of the tank and the emergency either comes down right next to it but the return is usually on the right side of the sump. I did a little bit backwards, and the reason being is I had previously made a stand for this tank, and it was gonna be in a different location in my house, and it just wouldn't fit down here. That's why I custom built this stand. Now I didn't want to change any of the plumbing because I already had most of that routed and figured out, so I just stuck with it. I already had the sump, just sitting up there, set up with the filter sock hanger on it, already siliconed in, siliconed in, and I didn't want to change any of that. Why go back? It's not going to make much of a difference. So this is my current setup. One thing I did do is I ran the PVC down almost to the bottom of where the sump's going to sit. And the reason I did that is I didn't want any water trickling. Uh, I wanted to be able to to achieve full siphon and not have to worry about gurgling noises and all that. So I put a union right there. Whenever I have to do a filter sock change, I just unscrew the union, uh, pull that pipe out, pull the filter sock out, put the new one in, and replace the pipe. It's pretty simple. And then I ran the emergency overflow right into where the refugium is going to be. I think that will work out fairly good. Um, uh, so yeah, that's where I'm at right now. And everything's turning out good. It's been a slow process. I had a pretty busy summer and, uh, everything's starting to slow down right before the holidays. So my goal is to have this tank up and running and cycling before New Year's. That is my goal right now. I still want to get my Apex Junior system, uh, my protein skimmer. I still got to get an RODI system and all that, but it's getting there. It's turning out pretty good. I like it. I'm going to have a couple more videos coming here in the next week. I'm going to be making my 
custom screen tops and uh, putting the baffles inside the, the sump. So I'm gonna do pretty much videos on everything. But hope you guys like this. Uh, if you have any concerns or any questions, any thoughts, shoot them my way. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let me know what you think. All right, you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Electric Grief out.